Alright, in my true fashion, I have always forgotten something, and in this case, I forgot to go ahead and change the edge reach um, to cloud, and cloud call here, so I changed that to all the same properties before I had it labeled as B2 and it was making an error code there. Uh, obviously there had to be more because it's me. Um, it was the Y position of the picture. Um, I had set to Y had it inside the designer which gets all mixed up and stuff like that when it comes to the vertical height so I'm going to have to go ahead and set this designated to a specific height. This is the one at the top. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete this out of the trash and I am going to manually set this to 2 pixels away from the top because we're in the origins of the top. Had issues with that bug. You can go ahead and do that for the these here too I think. I'll go ahead and do that actually. I have no issues with this at all. Axis at Sorry about this. This is when I start going insane and I start just moving things I shouldn't be. So our back all back be good. So we got two, three, three Y. Okay. Yeah, where's this going? Oh, and that's that is the one that got away from me. Okay. So I got that. Now the only other bug is that they kept in hand the edge, and I. Once again, like I said, if the image is overhanging outside the region, when it comes into the picture again, it's going to fidget at the edge because it's going to keep on thinking it's touching the edge. So I'm going to go back into Designer and then click on Canvas if I can. And now in here, we set the width to 335. I'm going to want to set this. I'm having them appear at 310, so 335 is kind of close, and that's what's hanging them up. I'm gonna go ahead and just change that to 350 because it extends off the picture anyway. Uh, I'm gonna go rehead and download this again and make sure that all these changes did fix all the bugs. And the last problem, and I promise this last one, I already put it to the test and it works perfectly. So what I had to do was just move in the boundaries of the tree to 310 here so that they reappeared at 310 which is the last placement of uh, the tree at initialization. See 310 here. It's going to restart that stepping process to make them perfectly timed right behind each other. I should have done that at the beginning but I just jumped to the conclusion with the 330 and added up all the tons too when I was just adding 100 each one. Alright so that finally gives us um, our lineup here and it's all working so I'm gonna go ahead and show the me playing it so you can actually see it for yourself and I'm also going to upload the APK as a link into the description from Google Drive and you can download that publicly and try it out for yourself but I highly recommend you actually going and uh, do this step by step procedure so give me one second to get a load up here and back and this is my app to which if you follow mine exactly it will look just like this this is exactly what we made in there ran all the bugs out of it you can see it floats back down, trees change height, and obviously if you hit it, you get your score. Four, and it repeats. 
and this one never ends. Um, please like, subscribe, comment, and uh, let me know if you like to see anything else, like a pause menu, score sheet, um, a log, like with Teeny Teeny DB database, and uh, we'll uh, go further on. But let me know which one you'd like to see first, and uh, if you'd like to add on to this one or maybe add it to a different app of some sort. Thank you, and support my uh, advertisers. Thank you.